Are you guys ready to try classic pulled pork off the Traeger my way? Well, stick around as I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, we're gonna cook some classic pulled pork today. Now, I'm using my pork injection on this right here and brine. You can brine a butt in it if you want to. I took a quarter cup and mixed up with some apple juice today, 12 ounces. This is about a seven pound butt right here. It's a prairie fresh prime that I had in my freezer and I thawed out. Now I'm gonna tell you, you can take, and I don't know if all 12 ounces will go into this butt because it's only seven pounds. Uh, that usually takes about a 10 pound butt, but we'll see. We'll get as much of it as we can in it. Then we're gonna season it up with some honey chipotle and apple rub, get it on a Traeger, 275 degrees. Let's start injecting this thing. Now mixing up that quarter cup of injection to that 12 ounces of apple juice, you wanna start in your bud here and I kinda of hold my hand over some and that's how I'm pulling out. I'm just gonna go in a grid type pattern all the way up that butt, but you wanna watch it that it don't squirt on you and just keep going. I'm just gonna keep checkerboarding this whole butt so we get as much as we can in here. We might have to go in from the sides or the bottom or everything. So this injection is gonna impart not only flavor, but it's also gonna help the moisture level of the butt even more than it already has in it. It has phosphates in it, has garlic and onion powder. It's got sugar. Uh, it's got several things that your classic pork injections uh, have in them. This pork injection right here is what I've used in all my contests when I've cooked competition barbecue, whether it be whole shoulders, whole hogs, uh, just pork butts in KCBS. Um, I've actually injected ribs with it before at a contest. And so you can kind of just play with it and make it your own. You can mix with other fruit juices or water if you want to. It's kind of completely left up to you. Go in the side here by the blade bone. See if we can't get a little bit more of that. Now, I think that's about all. Maybe it's got about a couple ounces left. So it held about 10 ounces there. So once we do that, I'm gonna get it wiped off and I'm gonna get some honey chipotle and apple rub on it. All right, these flavors that I'm going with today on our pork butt, I'm gonna be using our apple rub. And I can tell you, if you've never tried it, it just smells delicious. Not only does it taste delicious, you can use it with a variety of things, but it goes great on pulled pork, our apple rub does. That little bit of fruitiness and sweetness, we're gonna back that up with our honey chipotle rub today. And you can see I'm just getting a good medium coat around this butt here. And keep going around it and get on top here. And kinda once I get a good layer of apple rub on this thing. And if you only want to use apple rub or the honey chipotle or anybody else's rub, you can, please make it your own. Now, I'm gonna go around it with a good coat of honey chipotle rub. I love the color that the honey granules in my honey rub and honey chipotle give pulled pork, especially on your longer cooks. He just crusts up and barks up unbelievable. Now you just wanna get this thing coated good. Now a lot of people say, oh, he's using too much rub. Use what you want, it's completely up to you. I just do it because I know such a big piece of meat can take the seasoning, it can take the salt levels, it can take it and it's not bad for you. It's gonna be tossed around and shredded up and a lot of it's gonna come off in the liquid. All right, now that we've got that rubbed in, I'm gonna quit patting it and rubbing it. I think it's wet enough. We're gonna get our Traeger going and fueled up 275 degrees with some roll oak charcoal pellets, get it rolling and get our butt on. All right, our pork butt has been on our Traeger at 275 degrees with our Royal Oak charcoal pellets running at four hours. We've got an internal temp on the butt right now at 163 degrees, so I know it's time to be wrapped. Get in here and scoop it out. Wow, look at that. 
That is amazing color right there. All right guys, our pork butt here, like I said, we're ready to wrap. You can see the color is incredible from the honey chipotle and apple rubs that we used on this butt. I'm gonna keep it simple today. I've got some of my vinegar sauce here. You can use whatever you want. If you wanna wrap with something different, you can. I just really like my vinegar sauce wrapped full pork. Now, I will tell you guys, I'm gonna use a whole bottle on this thing. It's up to you what you use completely. Just what I'm using. Now you see that one bone sticking out right there? You want to be careful when you wrap your butt not to include that bone, okay? So, let me scoot that butt over. Once we've got our butt wrapped up, we're gonna get it back on the grill, get our probe in it, and let it go to about 203 degrees before we pull it. All right guys, our classic pulled pork is hitting 206 degrees. I'm gonna get this probe out. I'm gonna get this Boston butt off and get it in our Yeti cooler to rest. So let's get it over here to the cooler and let it rest for about two hours. We're gonna be ready for some pulled pork. All right guys, our classic pork butt is off of our cooker. We let it rest in our Yeti for a little over an hour and a half. And it, I'm gonna tell you, I think it's gonna be phenomenal. You can rest it longer if you want to. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna shred this thing on a sheet pan here. Um, now just to recap, we used our honey, chipotle, and our apple rubs. We cooked it on our Traeger at 275 degrees. This was a smaller butt, about seven pounds. So it had a total cook time of about six and a half hours. About four and a half unwrapped, about two hours wrapped. And then we're gonna come back with almost, like I said, an hour and a half, two hours wrapped. So it's very simple, very easy. Um, you know, you just wanna make sure that you wrap it up tight. I kept it very simple by only using a couple of my rubs and I wrapped with my vinegar sauce. Oh yeah, look at that butt there. Oh yeah. That right there is gonna be awesome. And look, this is the way a blade bone is supposed to come out of a butt. Now, let me show you all this here. You get in here and we could chop this up or you could just use your hands and go like that. And that's what we're looking for. Good, simple, easy pulled pork. Start laying it over here, shredding it down, picking some fat out. The key to these butts are really resting them, y'all. To me, that is the key. You can see guys, this butt just shreds up nice. That vinegar sauce, it's already like half sauced. And so it just melts in your mouth here. Oh yeah, or in your hand anyway, that's a better way to say it. All right guys, the last thing to do to our classic pork butt, I've got it shredded up here on a pan and we're fishing to get ready to eat some of it is to Get us a bite now. I'm gonna get me a bite of this bark right here. Oh, look at that. I want the whole piece. It's gonna make me a sandwich. Well, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. That is really good pulled pork. If you guys are looking for an easy, simple, classic style recipe. You should love this flavor profile, but if you don't have my rubs, try any rub you have at home. It's a great recipe. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course YouTube. I'll see you next week with another recipe.